Let's move over to urban settlement. Remember when we said uh, the difference, I see, I, I still uh, get the, the uh, question here, what is a, a rural settlement? Um, we have with our urban settlements already. Now, let me just explain that again. Remember that in your rural settlement, you have your primary activities, okay? Your farming, your mining, mining your for forestry, right? And in your urban settlements, you've got your secondary and your tertiary uh, 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 um, activities uh, that we find there. So please, people, you must know the difference between the two. Right, so let's continue. Let's have a look at our, the, the urban settlements that we should know. The first thing that you should know is you must know what type of urban settlements uh, do you find. You've got three different ones. The first one is a central place town. Now, if you have a look at this diagram that we've got here, let's have a look what is a central place town. It provides services to the surrounding rural area. In green here, I've got the surrounding rural area. This that I've got in red here represents all the rural settlements. Now, the farming community here in the rural settlements, they will need a shop. They will need a school, a bank. So whenever they need this, then they will go from the rural area to the central place town. And that is why a central place town provides services to the surrounding rural area. Okay, so that's our, 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 our uh, central place town that we've got. The following that, uh, one that we have is uh, trade and transport towns. Now, let's have a look at the word trade and transport. This has to, has to do with trade and transport, so it's quite easy. So let's have a look at this. Here we've got a few settlements here. We've got our sea, we've got the railway, we've got rivers here, we've got the roads and mountains. Our settlements are in green. So let's just have a look at the different type of trade and transport uh, towns that we've got. Remember, there are three trade and transport towns. You must know each one of them. You must know the characteristics of each one of these trade and transport towns. So let's have a look. The first one is a very interesting one, a break of bulk. If you live in this settlement here and you have ordered something for, say you, you, you're a shop owner and you have ordered um, something for your shop here, uh, something quite large. Then it will come by sea till the harbour here. And what will happen? On that it will go on the railway line. Going on the railway line up to you. And when it reaches this settlement, you've got a problem. The railway, railway line stops here. In other words, to get to you, the, they will have to use the road to bring whatever you ordered to there. So what happened here? From it, uh, it, it came by sea here and it reached you there. We had different types of transport. And when you get settlements where your transport goes from one type of transport to another type of transport, that is called a break of bulk town. So that's very, very important, your break of bulk town uh, that, you've got, uh, that you've got. Okay, let's have a look at the second one. The second one is a junction. The junction is found on the intersection of railways. Here we've got our railways, look at our key there. We've got our railway lines here, right? The R is a, in, 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 in our country is, a, is an example of this, okay? And uh, then we've also got here at the navigable uh, 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 um, uh, uh, rivers here. And when they join up, uh, you always will find a, a settlement there, and, um, uh, it, which also is a junction. And the last one that we have is a gap town. A gap town you find here between mountains, where Wooster is a, 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 an example here in Western Cape of um, a gap town. Okay, so those are our, our um, trade and transport towns. The last one that we, that we have uh, will be your, your specialized town or your specialized city. Now what's very important is that it has one dominant function like education, mining and so forth. Have a look at this one. Why have we got this settlement here? The uh, grey ones are the settlements here. Why have we got this uh, uh, settlement here? Here we've got the iron ore, ore mine and the iron ore, 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 ore mine, very important as uh, this, this, this uh, uh, settlement has grown right around the iron ore, uh, ore mine. Have a look at this one. Here we've got the university. Here we've got a few schools here. We've got a, co a college and this 
uh, uh, specialized city or specialized town. Uh, we, uh, it's also a specialized town. And the dominant function that we find here is, is edu edu education. Uh, here where I'm sitting in Stellenbosch, here where we're presenting the, the telematics. Uh, Stellenbosch is a good example of um, an education, uh, educational specialized uh, town. What's very important is that you must know the shape of your, um, your, 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 your urban settlements. Have a look at this. The first one that we've got here is a linear shape. Now, if you have a look at this dotted lines that I've drawn here, then you'll see that PAL has a problem. What's the problem? We've got mountains there. So, this PAL cannot expand in that direction, and it also cannot exp uh, 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 expand towards the west. But it can, uh, the only way in which uh, PAL can grow will be north or to the south. And that is why you'll have this linear shape of, of, of PAL. So when you have a look at your shape, please people, look at your mountains, look at your rivers. What is found around uh, in, 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 in that settlement which could cause the type of, of shape of the set settlement? Now have a look at this. Here we've got a, a settlement. Uh, shape. Um, here we've got the CBD. CBD. I'll, I'll, I'll always refer you to the key. Um, what that? What you need to, of the, uh, to know about the key? Here's the CBD. It's this here at A. Now, if you have a look at this, then you'll see that the initial, uh, the shape of this was a circle of this uh, settlement. But see what has what, what has happened. This settlement has grown, and this has happened. Just look at that. Along all the main routes, the settlement has grown. And it look like, looks like a star. And this we call a stellar shape of your, of your urban settlement. Now, now most of your, your, your modern uh, urban settlements are uh, stellar shape. People, uh, because it's such a popular shape, see that you can identify that kind of shape on your topographical map as well, as well as a diagram, as we've done, uh, as we've done here. Very easy to, to, to identify. Look at your roots, your main roots. And then you see if, just have a look at this, this slide again. Look at the development around that one. Look at the development around every one of these, these main roots. You have your development and then you get your stellar shape. Okay, the following thing that you must know is street plan. Now again, if you have a look at, at, at this diagram that we've got here, we've got basically two street plans. We've got the irregular one. And if you have a look here, here's a mountain. Look at the contours quite close to each other. So usually you will have your irregular one. You will have uh, close to a mountain on the slopes of a mountain. And look at that, the grid one. Look at that. Here we've got our lovely grid one. Look at the streets here. You can see very, very irregular. Look at this one, 90 degrees. Uh, they cross each other one uh, there. And they, you always on a flat surface or even ground, you will find your your uh, 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 your. your um, grid uh, pattern. So people, this is very important. You mustn't only be able to, to recognize your street pattern. You must also be able to say, why do we find that street pattern in a specific area? And people, your clue is, look at the contours. Okay, look at the contours. Because you always find your regular one where you've got lots of contours. In other words, you've got your steep slopes, contours closer uh, to each other. Then people at urban uh, profile, let's have a look at urban urban profile. Now what's very important is that when you ever look at profile, you must know that you are looking at the height of the different buildings. You can say you're standing a bit outside the city and you're looking towards the city and you see the, the, the profile of that. And what does this profile actually look like? You will definitely see the following. You will see that the buildings become lower as you move further from the CBD or the center of your, of your city, the city center. Now, the question is, why does this happen? Why have we got this urban profile? And the reason, therefore, people, has to do with the cost of your land. Firstly, closer to the CBD, you've got expensive land because of competition and it's intensive, uh, intensively built and that's why you get vertical buildings. People, a very, very popular question 
in the exams is why do you find high buildings in the CBD or the city center? Please, people, see that you know why, 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 why we've got that. Competition, expensive land, intensive, right? These are all your keywords that you must remember. As you move further from the CBD, the land becomes cheaper. Now, have a look at the difference between these buildings here, right? Very high. And have a look at those ones. They are horizontal. So we've got vertical buildings here and we've got horizontal buildings here. Why horizontal, horizontal buildings here? Because the land is cheaper. In other words, the people can afford the land, can buy a larger piece of land, and that is why they can actually put uh, horizontal uh, uh, buildings uh, there. Now, what's very important is that as you move from the CBD, the distance from the CBD, very important, the further you move from the city, the buildings become lower. I must uh, also uh, 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 include the following. Remember that you can, outside the cities, you can get in the profile that you can have, that you've got a few high-rise buildings uh, on the outside of the CBD as well. Why? Because that would be your flats, that would be your uh, hotels um, uh, just outside your CBD. So people, make sure that you can answer a question of urban profile. This is very, very important. See that you know why people, as I've told you, very important. The, the expensive land, very, very popular question. Why are the buildings so, uh, uh, so high in, in that part?